I've got a couple furnaces here. These furnaces are 8531-3 furnaces. And um, this one here is an old one uh, from 89. This one here is a, is a newer one from 96. I just thought I'd show you how these all, these, uh, uh, this, these are both Atwood furnaces. Atwood are, are, in my experience, you know, taking them apart and taking a few Suburbans apart. Uh, Atwoods are, are way, way, way better than Suburban furnaces. Um, but I uh, just thought I'd show you a few differences here. If you look, uh, a lot of times, uh, well, I'll show you first where the, the, uh, limit switches. If you look down here in the burner, I've removed the uh, squirrel fan. That's where the limit switch is located. And that's the the problem with this furnace. Is that's why it's all apart. It's because the limit switch uh, has failed. And the, the furnace actually just blows cold air now. Uh, but uh, this is also something uh, interesting here. The the squirrel fan off of this guy's is a plastic plastic squirrel fan. And another thing to note is that the motor. I think that the motor. I don't know if you can hear it. It's got a little a small squeak in there, and uh, it's kind of annoying. So uh, I'm going to put this one in my RV instead. This is a, a, an older um, a furnace that's sort of the same model. You can notice that the older ones are a lot better. The one, one other thing I should notice about this is one of the reasons why I took this plastic fan off was that this was kind of like wobbly. It, it needed some realignment, but uh, I think a lot of the reason for that is that it's got this plastic bushing here, and it's just not uh, as rugged. I've, I've heard of these plastic fans just kind of like uh, falling apart. This one is metal, and it's much smoother, and uh, it's centered, and it just seems to be uh, like, you know, more balanced than the, than the other one. There's some other subtle differences between the older, this older one and the new one as well. But um, anyhow, uh, you can kind of see how they, they all go together. Uh, they come apart just like a, like a puzzle and uh, fairly easy to work on. Very simple, simple devices. Another thing to note is this is the the board out of the older furnace and as you can see it sits in this this case here I really like that keeps it you know free of dust whereas the new one the new one just kind of like the board just kind of like sits out in the open like that like this would just sit in there like like that so I don't know there's some small differences there but uh, I like the old one a lot better. It seems to be much better made, and these are identical furnaces. You know, the older one has this this cover here for the the board control board. It's got a metal squirrel cage. Um, the the the, uh, the limit switch on this one is located in a different area. It's it's just below right here. Um, so I'm not sure how much difference that makes, but anyways, uh, these Atwood furnaces are pretty good though. Uh, that being said, they're they're way better than the suburban furnaces. So if you're you know looking at repairing these, or uh, you know there's only uh, so many components. You know there's a, there's the sale switch here, uh, the uh, this little guy here is a um, what you call it um, it's a it's a delay switch okay so when you turn on your thermostat this is the thing that you know waits 30 seconds before it starts the fan you got a breaker here on and off switch what else you got your 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 va uh, valves basically just solenoids they're easy to test and of course the limit switch which is down in there 
So really not a whole lot to these things and they're pre pretty simple to figure out. 